It was a cold winter's night in the small town of Meadowbrook. Detective John Smith was on the case of the missing jewels from the local museum. It had been two weeks since the theft and the police had no leads. Detective Smith was determined to find the culprit and the missing jewels. He was sure that the thief was someone from the town. He had already interviewed several people, but none of them had any useful information. He decided to take a walk around town to see if he could find any clues. Dot. He walked around the museum, looking for any signs of a break-in. He noticed that the front door had been forced open. He also noticed that the security guard was missing. He decided to go back to the station and check out the security footage. After several hours of reviewing the footage, he noticed something strange. He saw a woman in a dark coat walking around the museum. She seemed to be trying to avoid the cameras. The next day, Detective Smith went to the woman's house. He knocked on the door and a middle-aged woman answered. She introduced herself as Mrs. Jones and invited him in. He asked her about the night of the theft and she told him that she was at home that night. Detective Smith asked her if he could search her home. She reluctantly agreed and he started to search the house. He noticed a suspicious-looking box in her bedroom. When he opened it, he found the stolen jewels. He arrested Mrs. Jones and asked her why she had stolen the jewels. She told him that she was in F. financial trouble and needed the money. She had been planning the theft for weeks and was almost ready to leave town when she was caught. Detective Smith was relieved to have solved the case. He returned the jewels to the museum and Mrs. Jones was sentenced to three years in prison. The case of the missing jewels was closed. Detective Smith was happy to have solved another case and was looking forward to the next one.